we're going to compare the personal loans from Discover and U.S. Bank. We've spent years working in the lending industry and we track dozens of lenders. We want to break down these two lenders so that you can see which one might be better for your situation. But before we get started, let me just say a quick word about each of these companies. Discover is primarily known as a credit card company. Its cards run on its own network and not on either that of Visa or MasterCard. U.S. Bank is a retail bank that has locations in 28 states, primarily in the Midwest and the West. Both of these companies offer personal loans to borrowers. Let's see how they compare. First, we're going to look at their loan amounts. Discover offers a minimum loan amount of $2,500, which isn't too bad. It's a pretty standard minimum loan amount, but U.S. Bank offers a minimum of $1,000. That's one of the lower minimums. So if you need just a little bit of money to cover a monthly shortfall, U.S. Bank has more flexibility on the low side. Discover's maximum loan amount is $40,000, while U.S. Bank's maximum is $50,000. But we do need to put an asterisk next to U.S. Bank's numbers because the maximum loan amount for people who are not already customers is only $25,000. Since I think there are more non-customers than customers, I'm going to give this category to Discover. Discover's personal loans have terms that range from three to seven years. I am a bit concerned about a minimum loan term of three years. That's just too long to be paying back a loan that's only $2,500. So if you are taking just a little bit of money, make sure that you make an extra effort to pay the loan off early. Otherwise, you will be paying a lot more in interest than you should. U.S. Bank lends for terms between one and seven years. And there's another asterisk. If you aren't already a U.S. Bank customer, they will not lend for longer than five years. That's probably okay for loans that max out at $25,000. In both of these cases, if you get a seven-year loan, do your best to make extra principal payments in the first year of the loan. If you do that, you will save a lot of money on interest and significantly shorten the time you are in debt. Both Discover and U.S. Bank are fairly restrictive on who they lend to. Discover and U.S. Bank lend to people who have good to excellent credit, say credit scores of 660 or higher. But there's another asterisk. U.S. Bank says that they will not lend to non-customers with credit scores below 720. That's really restrictive. Now let's look at the cost of the two loans. Discover's lowest APR is 7.99% and U.S. Bank's is 8.74%. These are both pretty low in the industry right now, but Discover gets highlighted because it is the lowest. Both Discover and U.S. Bank cap their maximum APRs at 24.99%. I am not going to highlight either one of them, for their maximum APRs because that's a pretty good top rate, but it isn't the best for people who have excellent credit. Neither bank will charge an origination fee on their loans. And in terms of context, I would say about half of all lenders don't charge an origination fee. It's great that they don't charge it because it means that the full cost of borrowing is wrapped up in that interest rate. That's good because it means that the best way of saving money on the loan is to make extra principal payments. If you are late on a payment, Discover will charge you $39. That is the highest late fee in the industry. U.S. Bank is not clear on whether they will charge you a late fee, but I suspect they do. I don't love the lack of transparency. Discover does not accept cosigners on their loans, but U.S. Bank does. They call them secondary loan applicants during the application process and co-borrowers during the loan period. A co-signer is someone who agrees to pay off the loan if you fail to repay it. If you have a spouse or a loved one that has a stronger credit profile than you do, adding them can improve your chances of being approved, getting more money, or getting a lower rate. It's good that U.S. Bank offers this option. If you are using the loan to consolidate credit card balances or other debt, Discover will directly pay off those other creditors with the proceeds of the loan for you. U.S. Bank, on the other hand, will not. It's convenient when a lender will do this, but it also shows that the lender knows that the loan will replace other debts and not just stack on top of them. Because of that, the new loan won't change your debt-to-income ratio. 
that should make it easier to be approved by them. Discover gets credit for giving borrowers this option. If you are using the loan to consolidate other debt, you do need to know that Discover will not let you use the proceeds to consolidate balances from Discover credit cards. So if you do have Discover credit card balances that you'd like to consolidate, you will either need to find another lender or ask for extra money and use it to pay down the Discover credit cards yourself. We've already mentioned that U.S. Bank has quite a few restrictions for applicants who are not already U.S. Bank customers. Non-customers must have higher credit scores to be approved. They can't borrow as much and they can't borrow for as long. Let's summarize what we've learned about the personal loans offered by Discover and U.S. Bank. Discover and U.S. Bank both have their fair share of green cells. U.S. Bank would have more of them if they offered the same benefits to non-customers that they do to customers. So if you are a U.S. Bank customer, it might be the better option for you. If you are looking to consolidate other debt, each of these companies has advantages. U.S. Bank gives no restrictions on what you can consolidate. Discover will directly pay off your other debts, as long as those debts are not Discover credit cards. But usually the most important thing about selecting a lender is whether they will approve you for the money that you need at the lowest possible APR. Each lender will have a different criteria for deciding whether to approve you, how much to offer, and at what rate. That's why we always recommend that before you accept a loan, you should shop around. Find the best deal. At the Yukon Project, we've tried to make shopping around easy. If you visit our Marketplace page, you can apply to any one of our featured lenders. Behind the scenes, we will check your rate with up to 40 other lenders. Our partners use a soft credit check, so applying won't hurt your credit score. We will show you all of the approved offers so that you can pick the loan that's best for you. If you have any other questions about either one of these lenders that we didn't cover, leave a comment below. If you found this video useful, please like it and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.